Hello everyone, today let's learn how to find quartiles for group data. So friends, in this example, here is the class interval column. This is the frequency column. Now there are three quartiles, Q1, Q2 and Q3 for group data. Now what is Q1? Q1 or the first quartile is the observation that lies at 1 by 4th position or n by 4th position of the data. So friends, this is the formula for Q1. But before we can use it, we need one more column which is known as the CF column. So let me draw that. Now what is CF? Yes, CF is cumulative frequency which means added frequency. Now how to calculate? Well, for the first class interval, the CF value is the same as the frequency value because there is no previous frequency which has to be added. So it will be 5 only. Now for the remaining class intervals, the CF will be the frequency of that class interval plus the CF of the previous class. So here it will be 5 plus 6 which is 11. You can use these arrows to help you. So here for 20 to 30 class interval it will be 11 plus 3 which is 14. 14 plus 2 is 16 and 16 plus 1 is 17. This is how we get the CF column. Now the last CF value will always give you the total number of observations which is n. So here it will be 17. You can check it out. Now as we told before the first quartile is at n by fourth position. Now what is n by 4? n is 17. So 17 by 4 which is 4.25 friends. Okay. So Q1 is at 4.25th position. Now in which class interval does this position lie? Let's use the CF column to find out. Now 0 to 10 class interval has CF5 which means observation 1 to 5 lies over here. So will 4.25 observation lie here? Yes, surely it will lie here. That means my first first quartile lies in the class interval 0 to 10. So this is my first quartile class. So let me just highlight it friends with a highlighter. So this is my first quartile class. Now once we know what is the first quartile class, we can easily find out the values of these variables. So L is the lower limit of the first quartile class. So what will be the lower limit? Yes, it will be 0. N is the total number of observations which is 17. Cumulative frequency, CF is cumulative frequency of class before the first quartile class. So what is the class before the first quartile class? There is no class. This is the first class. So in such cases, friends, we take CF to be zero. I hope you understood. Now, F is the frequency of the first quartile class. So this is the frequency of the first quartile class. So I'll write it as five. Okay, and H is the size of the class interval. So any class interval you take, just subtract the upper limit and lower limit. So suppose 30 minus 20, it is 10. So my class size is going to be 10. Now that we have all the values, let's put it in this formula and find out Q1. So Q1 is going to be L, which is 0 plus N. N is 17 by 4 minus CF is 0 divided by the frequency is 5 times the class size which is 10. Now friends this is 0 so 17 by 4 we have found out to be 4.25 minus 0 into 10. Okay so this will get us 4.25 into 10. Now I can always cancel 5 twos are 10 so 4.25 into 2 is 8.5. So Q1 value is 8.5. I hope you got this. Now let's calculate the second quartile or Q2. Now Q2 is the observation that lies at n by 2th position or the middle of the data. So it's also known as median. Now this is the formula for second quartile. Now since we have the same data, I have just copied the cumulative frequency values from the previous calculation. Now where does the second quartile lie? Yes, it lies at n by 2 position, so which is 17 by 2, which is 8.5. Now, in which class interval does this lie? Let's find out using the CF. So, 0 to 10 CF is 5, which means observation 1 to 5 lie here. So, will 8.5 observation lie here? Not at all. Now, we come to 10 to 20. CF is 11. That means observation 6 to 11 lies here. So, will 8.5 observation lie here? Yes, surely it will lie in this class interval, which means my Q2 or median.
again lies in this class interval this is my second quartile class or the median class i have just highlighted it friends now it will be easy to calculate all these values l is the lower limit of the median class so the l will be 10 now n will be 17 only in fact class size also will not change it will be 10 now cf is the cf value of the class before the median class so this is the class before the median class its cf value is 5 okay now frequency of median class is f so that is going to be 6 so friends don't confuse between the f and the cf value so we have got all the values let's quickly substitute so q2 is l which is 10 plus n by 2 is 17 by 2 minus the cf is 5 divided by f is 6 into 10. Now 17 by 2 is 8.5 minus 5 divided by 6 into 10. So friends this will get us 3.5 into 10 by 6. So 3.5 into 10 I can always write it as 35 by 6. Now 35 by 6 if you calculate you will get 5.833. So my Q2 value is 10 plus 5.833 which is 15.833. So this is my second quartile or median value. Now let's find out the third quartile of the group data. So friends third quartile as you may have guessed is the observation that lies at the 3 n by 4th position of the data. So shall we find out what is 3 n by 4 here? So it will be 3 into 17 by 4 which is uh, 51 by 4 yes. Now 51 by 4 is 12.75 so 3 n by 4 is this. So my Q3 lies at 12.75 observation. So, in which class interval does it lie? Well, 0 to 10 class interval has CF 5. So, definitely 12 will not lie here. 10 to 20, the CF is 11. That means observation 6 to 11 will be here. So, will 12.75 be here? Not at all. Now, 20 to 30 class interval, the so CF value is 14. That means observation 12 to 14 lies here. So, will the 12.75 observation lie here? Yes, surely it will lie here, friends. That means my Q3 class or the third quartile class is this. Let me highlight it. Now, let's find out the different values. Lower limit of the third quartile class is going to be 20. So, that is L. N will be 17. The size will also be 10. Now, CF of the class before the third quartile class, that is going to be 11, okay? And frequency of the third quartile class is 3. Yes, am I right? Now, let's substitute these values. So, I'll get 20 plus. Now, 3 N by 4, I can directly write as 12.75 minus the CF value is 11 divided by the frequency is 3 into 10. So we get 20 plus 1.75 divided by 3 into 10, which is 20 plus 17.5 divided by 3. Yes. Now again, when I calculate this, I will get 5.833, which means my third quartile is 25.833. So friends, here is a question for practice. Find out all the three quartiles for the given data. Let me know your answers in the comment section below. And if you found the video useful, do like and share. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math. And please do leave your questions, your feedback in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.